Hello Ratbags, it's Jay Plays Games back again with another Game Alert show. Today we're looking at Conan Exiles and it's probably not going to be good news. Um, well, it's been pushed back. I'm going to get straight to it. The game has been pushed back from its official release in quarter one to quarter two 2018. If you don't know, Conan Exiles was meant to be fully released around January to February time next year. They have said that window, they need a little bit more time to make sure it's up to standard. I totally agree with them. This is definitely one putback I can agree with. Other games past, you wonder how they've done it, what they've done, what their focus has been, if they've been working on things they shouldn't have been, why couldn't they get the game out. Conan Exiles is a so-so game at the moment. It's an okay game. I can't say it's a good game. I can't say it's a bad game. Now, I've done quite a bit of content on it, and I still do news videos on it. The reason I say it's a so-so game is because there are still a huge amount of bugs and problems with it. And that's fine in early access, totally fine. But they've only got like two, three months before supposedly it was meant to release. And with all their plans and their ambitions to bring in a whole load of other content to it, there was no way they were going to hit that marker. So I'm glad they're doing it early. They're not doing it at the last minute like other game companies, I should mention. Oh my God. Um, they are literally giving everyone a good amount of time notice. And I really think that's good of them. I want Conan to be a fantastic game and like I said I think it's got real potential that's why I've kept on with the new stories that's why I've tried to keep my hand in the game because I still think it's got a lot of potential but it definitely needs to implement some of these new systems it definitely needs to move forward and it's got to improve lots of bugs and problems and gameplay mechanics in it a bit disappointed I had to find this information out through a Natrado post which obviously hosts some of the servers for them they're not even the official partners of them um, it's another company that does that yet yeah, I could couldn't find anything anywhere else until I went through some of the Steam files. Now Funcom and Conan have got lots of means and avenues, they've got Twitter, they've got their own official page. So yeah, I was a bit disappointed to see that they kind of buried it a couple of days ago and haven't mentioned anything to do with it on Twitter, they haven't mentioned anything to do with it on the actual homepage, which is what I would expect. They'll probably wait until Monday, that's when they do like their, their newsletter on the Monday or the Tuesday. But still, this is big news. It should really be there, you know, as soon as they decide to. They should put it out everywhere so everyone can find out. So let's read through exactly what they've said. Hey everyone, here's a quick update about the release window of the game. We've been looking at a development roadmap for Conan Exiles and considering the level of quality and polish we would like to meet before full release. Making sure that Conan Exiles is of a higher technical and gameplay quality is our number one priority right now. As such, we've decided to take a little bit more time than we had originally planned to make sure we get as much polishing as we can before it moves out of early access. So we're pushing the release date from quarter 2018 to early quarter 2 2018. It's not a major shift in release but it would make a significant difference to the quality of the game. Now the comment section in Steam is a bit mixed. Some people are saying it's great, some people are saying it's really needed, some people are saying no, you know, just hurry up and release it. Like I said at the start, I really do think the game needs a little bit more time. I think the plans they've got will make the game a fantastic addition. But right now, if they were to release the game right now, it would die a very, very quick death. And that might sound really harsh. I'm not talking about even just bugs. If you take away the glitches, the bugs, imagine that the game was perfectly running. There's still not enough to do. There's not enough busy work to do. There's plenty of quests and stuff. People keep comparing it to other games like Ark, and I've done that in the past as well. But I still firmly believe it's got more qualities to do with like an RPG or Skyrim game, but with decent survival mechanics. The way that you find locations, the lore that's embellished in the game, the, the way they're going to present it in the future, they want to add even more of that, the ghostly spirits giving you little bits of story. I really like that side of things. That's what, for me, makes the game stand out. That and its PvP focus. Now, again, it's something I've always wanted to get into. I just don't have the time, but I would love to spend more time with it. I have got a server running and my patrons are playing on it, um, and they're probably dying out for me to come and play on it more because I just don't give it enough time but it's mainly because of these reasons because i don't think the game's got just enough content it's locations you can go and check out and go through dungeons and go through villages or towns but in terms of day-to-day -day stuff it does need something more so the frawl system is coming along you're going to have loads of different ways you can utilize the frawls they're adding the inventory update to it now so you can put different weapons and armor in the frawls not different weapons but different armors at least um, so that would be really good you can really customize your frawls but they've got big plans they've 
got plans for mounts, they've got plans for tames, they've got plans for um, more robust features with the NPCs, so they're going to make them more, you know, dangerous. There's going to be this threat from these NPCs that come across the server or come across your game and they will attack whoever's got like the biggest tribe or the biggest clan. And the same in your single player game, obviously, if you're on it, they'll just come along and, and maybe start attacking you. So it's almost like a warring tribe that goes around. So lots of plans. It definitely needs more work. There was no way they're going to get that done in two or three months. Absolutely no way. So it might not be a huge delay, like Jen says. There, he's the community manager. They're looking at you know early quarter two. So early quarter two, I think I do believe is February till May. February till May. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so it looks like it might be you know. January, February, March, maybe March, April time, if that's the right, I, I'm pretty sure that's right, correct me if I'm wrong guys, but yeah, so if it comes out in April next year, I think that would be great, I think the more time it has to polish, it's not one of these things where, like, Art Survival Evolve kept delaying it and delaying it, delaying it, this is the only first time they've announced any sort of a delay, they did make a big hoo-ha that they were going to be out of early access within a year, they really wanted to get it out there for people, but, you know, I don't blame them. I think they want to make sure the games of the quality they need. It is pretty popular on Xbox One. It has got a good following. PC has died a little bit. There aren't as many people playing it on PC. But then again, lots of survival games are struggling at the moment. I don't know if the survival boom has been and bust, but certainly when I look at data for the Steam, and I can pull it up in another video that like I'm planning on, you'll see that the lots of people playing these types of games has gone down a little bit. There's the survival boom, like there's so many games that had that survival element into it. They're just not as popular as they were. People I think are getting a bit tired of the early access model. They're tired of bugs and problems in the game and it's not as common you know, as new as exciting playing something that's early access. Now people kind of just want to move on to something that's maybe a bit more polished. So yeah, all props to Conan if they get it done. I'll be giving you more information as it comes. When we get the updates, I'll be there to give you the info about it and show you guys the gameplay from the updates as well. But generally, that's going to be the only content I really do. Unless I really get some extra time where I can do a little mini-series. I am planning some events with my patrons. We are going to do some um, Gladiator events or some just PvP events. So expect that. That will be coming like once every sort of two weeks, every three weeks we'll be doing something like that so hopefully i'll be getting some decent videos out of that for you guys too let me know what you feel about conan have you been playing it did you complete it did you go around completing all the bosses and and, and sort of just enjoying that aspect or was you about building what is the game at the moment for you are you enjoying it what do you like most about the game what do you want to see them implement are you looking forward to some of the things they've already announced and this one totally escaped me months ago I totally missed this out so my bad but I did not realize they were actually going to be trying to get a physical copy edition as well so there will be a physical copy when it comes out it's not going to be just digital it's very much going to be like Ark you will be able to buy a physical copy edition of the game when it comes out next year so there we go guys, another Game Alert show done and dusted. Remember, if you want to keep up to date with the best in early access games, new games, information and updates, make sure you've got subscriptions earned on. Hit the like on this video, it helps me out and I'll see you rat bags later.